Hello everyone today, I am going to teach you about against Caro Can defense with Alexander Alakini party. Move starts with e4 pawn and against this move c6 pawn. Finally, those moves are called Caro Can defense, and in second move, Alexander Alakin used one little trick. He moved his knight to c3. I want to talk about it later. And black moves d5. White developed their second knight and attacked to center. After taking two pawns, knight taked e4. Then that defenseless knight, which is located in e4, was attacked by bishop through f5. And knight retreated to g3 and attacked to the bishop. Also, the bishop retreat to g6. If you pay attention, that bishop was defended by f7 and h7 pawn. Alakine moved h4 in order to weaken black's bishop and king's flank. Then, black moved h6 to defend their the bishop, but now bishop has only one defender, which is f7 pawn. White attacked the weakened bishop by moving knight to e5. Through that move, white aims to take the bishop. Then, black's bishop moves to h7. But this move created weakened pawn in f7. Then Alakine want to pressure that pawn, so he moved his queen to h5. Black defend this pawn by moving their g6 pawn and also attacked queen. White didn't pay attention to that attack and moved their bishop to c4. Now can't take white's queen because if they take white's queen, white moves their bishop to f7 and give checkmate. In order to defend f7 pawn, black moved e6 pawn. Then white moved their queen to e2 and prepared to next trick. Then black neglected to that move and moved their knight to f6 in order to castling. But it was blunder. Instead of it, black should move their queen to e7 because of defend f7 pawn. Then white moves their knight to f7 and gave fork to queen and rook. In order to not lose their material, black took it with their king. Again, it was blunder too. Then white wins in two moves. White moved e6, then black moved g7, then queen gives checkmate in f7, and it is over. White won. Earlier I said, you, I wanted to talk about Alakine's trick, so I want to clarify an opinion. In theory of Karokan defense, primary, in second move, white should move d4 pawn. The knight c3 move was an advance on the d4 move, and for black, it was a trap. Black people got used to this situation. It was Black's first mistake in the game that turned out to be the bishop f5 move. Instead of it, or knight should go to f6 to attack white's queen. Okay, it is over. Now it is time to be new subscriber of this channel, and don't forget to like the video. If you want support us and see more videos, you should do this things.